everyone, I am Chef Melissa Ost, and today we're gonna do my favorite chicken and waffles. I'm gonna take you from a good version to a gourmet version. We're gonna start off with a Belgian waffle and a polenta crusted chicken breast. I'm gonna finish that off with a little spicy honey drizzle. Then we're gonna move on to a potato and leek waffle, which will also top with a polenta crusted chicken. And then we're gonna do a jalapeno and bacon gravy. I think you guys are gonna love it. First, we're gonna start off with our polenta crusted chicken. We're gonna use the same chicken for the good and the gourmet. The chicken's already been pounded out. We're gonna marinate the chicken breast in some buttermilk, a little salt and pepper, whisk that together, get that all incorporated. We're gonna add our chicken breasts. In the meantime, we're gonna start with our dredge. Here we have all the ingredients for our dry dredge. We're gonna start off with some polenta, freshly grated Parmesan, some flour. We're gonna season it with some salt and pepper fresh chopped parsley, fresh basil, and give this a little stir. Now that we have our dredge ready, we're gonna go ahead and coat our chicken, patting them down just a little bit to make sure that that polenta and the dredge sticks on there really well. Now that we have our chicken ready, we're gonna get set up to do our frying. We wanna fry about 350 degrees, medium high heat. There's that blue flame we wanna see. Uh, we're gonna be using vegetable oil. Now we're gonna fry our chicken about three to four minutes on each side, making sure we get it cooked all the way through. Looking for a nice golden brown color. And we'll probably turn these a couple times each side. These are looking good. I'm gonna pull these out. So we're onto the second batch of chicken. The chicken's going into the pan cold, so what we need to do is readjust the heat. Best thing about natural gas is being able to see that flame visually, how high you need it. Go ahead and add the second batch in. Nice golden color that we're looking for. Okay, our chicken's ready. Now we're gonna start with a good version of our waffle. We're gonna start with some flour, a little bit of baking powder, a little bit of sugar, a pinch of salt, and mix these guys in together real well. We have some buttermilk, some fresh eggs from Prairie Creek Farm here in Kellyville, Oklahoma, a little bit of vanilla extract, and some melted butter. And get those yolks broken up. Then we're gonna add our wet ingredients into our dry ingredients. And now we're ready to cook the good version of the waffle. All right, the waffle iron is hot and ready. I'm gonna cut this with a little bit of butter. We don't want the waffle sticking, but you're gonna make a waffle sandwich. And we're gonna use about one cup of batter here for this waffle. That'll be about five minutes for that waffle to cook, and then we'll move on to the gourmet waffle. We're gonna use potatoes in this waffle. These have already been peeled and diced. Add these to the water, raise that flame. We're gonna cook these until they're fork tender. Now we're gonna prep the leeks. So we're gonna cut them longwise, pull the layers apart, give them a quick little rinse. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, quarter those down and mince them. And add a little butter to the pan. We're go ahead and add our leeks. Chili flake for spice. We're gonna add a little bit of heavy cream. And we're gonna let these guys simmer. And then we're gonna add them to the rest of our ingredients. Now that our leeks are ready, we're gonna go ahead and finish off our gourmet dough for the waffle. We're gonna add our cooked off potatoes, our flour, two eggs, and our cooked off leeks. Gonna whip these together at medium speed. Gonna wait till everything's nice and incorporated. The egg yolks are broken up. They look ready to go. Off to the waffle maker. Now that our gourmet waffle is done, it's nice and golden brown. We're gonna pull these guys out and then we'll move on to the sauces. To finish off our good version of our Belgian chicken and waffle, we're gonna heat up some honey, chili flake. So we're gonna mix this together and we're just gonna let that steep for a few minutes. We're gonna move on to our charred jalapeno bacon gravy. It all starts with charring the jalapeno. We're gonna do it right here on the stove top over the open flame, high heat. So we're just gonna keep turning it, making sure we get all sides of the jalapeno roasted off. Nice and charred all the way around. We're gonna take the jalapeno, we're gonna stick it into a bowl here. It's gonna steam the jalapeno, and that skin is gonna rub right off. Now we've warmed up our cast iron skillet over medium heat. We're gonna add about a pound of bacon to the pan here. Then we're gonna remove the bacon, and we're gonna save the renderings, and then we're gonna finish out our sauce. Now that the bacon's done, I'm gonna add some diced yellow onion to the pan. I'm gonna dust it with some flour. The next step is gonna be to add our milk. 
Awesome. So the jalapeno that we charred on the open flame here earlier has been peeled and diced. We're gonna add this in. We have some fresh chopped parsley. And to finish it off, we're gonna incorporate the bacon that we cooked off earlier right back into the gravy. Okay, gravy is ready, and now it's time to plate our chicken and waffles. Well, nobody can eat chicken and waffles alone. So today I have my good friend, Mike, my tried and true hey, food chef. tester. You hey, doing? darling. Glad Thank you for here. joining us. So we did a good versus gourmet. We did a Belgian waffle, polenta crusted chicken, a little spicy honey drizzle. Mm. Oh yeah, the honey and the, the peppers in there, the spice. We're gonna move on to the gourmet. So here we have a leek waffle, charred jalapeno, and bacon gravy to go okay. along with that. Mm. Mm. Okay, now I see the difference. They're both gourmet to me, but I see what you're talking about. That's definitely up there. Cheers, Cheers. Thank you for joining me. Anytime.